Red Sox playoff hopes uh, appear to be dwindling, yet they're still in it. Uh, could there be a major shakeup in the offseason despite them winning the World Series just last year? Well, there could be, Mike. And since we have no August trades, insiders like me, we have to look ahead to the offseason already. So I'm going to do that right now for a moment at least. Uh, of course, this time last year, Mookie Betts was on his way to winning the MVP, winning the World Series, and it seemed as though his future certainly would be in Boston. However, Joel Sherman reported that Mookie turned down an eight-year, $200 million contract extension offer, and it seems very likely to go to free agency at this point in time. He is a free agent yeah. after the coming season, after 2020. And so I was told by sources today that there's a belief in the industry, now this is not coming from the Red Sox, but they believe at this point in time that the Red Sox will at least listen, yes, listen, to trade offers for Mookie in the winter. Now, while that may sound absurd, here's the reasoning. You think about the Red Sox pitching staff. Porcello has struggled. Price is on the injured list right now. We've seen Sale have, objectively, the worst year of his career. And if the Red Sox believe that their pitching is simply not good enough looking forward to be able to compete against the Yankees, against the Rays, they may have to make the very dramatic decision if they don't want to extend their payroll further, which, by the way, they're already spending the most money in baseball this year, that one of their best ways to get young pitching in would be potentially, yes, to put Mookie on the trade Ooh. market this winter. Not to say there's going to be a deal, but I believe, Mike, from what I've been told by sources today, that there's a pretty strong belief at least Mookie will be available. And one team I'll mention, the Atlanta Braves. They've got so much great young pitching. They also have a great young outfitter, Christian Pache, at the top end of the minor leagues. If the Red Sox could get Ian Anderson and Christian Pache, uh, again, they're just prospect names right now, but I believe the Red Sox would have to at least consider it, especially because you think about the Braves' perspective, Mookie's from Nashville. That might be one place where the long-term extension could fit very nicely with Mookie from a geographic standpoint. Hey, JP, real quick, and it's only because the Red Sox don't feel like they're able to afford him with all the other uh, money, all the other money they have on their on their, yes. uh, their their team right now. Right, it, it's it's exactly the combination. They've, they've already, of course, extended Bogarts. They've extended Sale. They've got Price signed for big money going forward. They also may have to deal with J.D. Martinez opting out. By the way, when the season is over, okay. so they may have to make a decision. J.D. or Mookie. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the lineup, of course, has been good, but the pitching is what's really let them down this year. So that might be a very difficult but necessary choice for the Red Sox this winter. All right, J.P. Uh, more from you uh, later on in the show. Stick around. All right. He won the MVP last year, didn't he? Mookie. I mean, Mike, let's 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 start. With keep the it basics. real, Skip. Let's start with the basics. They're the Boston Red Sox. They will. They'll get creative. They are not going to trade Mookie Betts. I am sorry. This guy is a multi-year. He's going to be in the MVP talk talks for a long time. It's like talking to the Angels about Mike Trout for right. heaven's sakes. You know, you're. This guy is one of the best players in the game. You just don't trade the best players in the game. Guys are turning down two hundred million dollars, three hundred million dollars. That you know, that's not going to change. But Mookie Betts, they're going to come up with some way. Dave Dombrowski's very too creative. bright guy, very creative, and. and Mm -hmm. My guess is in the next few years, you're going to continue to see Mookie wearing number 50 in the Boston uniform. That man has a lot of accolades. His hallway must be big because there's a lot of hardware going in those hallways. He's got gold sprinkled in the outfield. He can hit. He can run. There's too many things that go around him. He makes the offense go. He's having a down year. That's why the offense is having a down year as far as the team standpoint of winning. He's do, too valuable. You can't let him go. Do you think if this team feels like he would leave anyway, that they would try and get something for him? Well, I need to text him because I I'm can't believe he turned down $200 million. Well, I mean, but that's, guys that's, are doing that. Two, eight, that's not a lot of money for, for a guy like him. Eight years and $200 million. Yeah, not no, for a guy like him. That's chips you know, and Mike, dip in Nashville. you got to be careful. you got to be careful when you start talking about getting prospects and I understand mm -hmm. there's a lot of good prospects out there. We're watching today all of these young guys coming up. Let me tell you, not everybody makes it. Absolutely. And, and you're giving up an MVP guy for two chance guys? I, 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 that's dangerous. It better be four or five. For you him. better yeah. believe that. Yeah. Still a very young guy, too. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what happens here.